Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you guys The Dark Knight, the 2008 movie on DVD starring Christian Bale as Batman. This movie was directed by Chris Christopher Nolan. This movie has to be one of my favorite movies of all time. When I f first watched this movie, when it came out in the theaters, I was really impressed by this movie. This movie was pretty long when I uh, first watched it. Uh, all the cast members did an amazing job. They did excellent, especially the one and only Heath Ledger as his iconic role as the Joker. Sadly, uh, Heath Ledger did pass away back in 2008. Um, before his death, uh, he had f gotten done finished filming The Dark Knight as the Joker. As all of you guys don't know uh, who Heath Ledger is, he did the iconic uh, Joker in The Dark Knight. Um, th uh, he was doing this movie uh, right before his death, you know. He, he just got done finished filming uh, The Dark Knight. After this movie, he did another role. Uh, he played another character as Tony. And I believe that last role that Heath Ledger uh, did was put on hold due to his death. I think it's pretty sad that Heath Ledger did, uh, you know, it's pretty sad that he, he Heath Ledger passed away at a very young age. Uh... The hotel, the apartment he was renting, you know, that's where, you know, he had the cause of death that of Heath Ledger that was an accidental drug overdose. You know, it was pretty sad when I, when I first heard that, you know, the iconic Joker actor Heath Ledger, when I first heard that he passed away. That's like one of the worst news that no fans should ever have to hear of their favorite actor. Who did the iconic Joker role in The Dark Knight. You know. They shouldn't have to hear that. The sad news. Of an actor passing away. That. That. Their role. That their role is famous for. Uh, he, Here you got the front. You got uh, Cr Christian Bale as Batman. Standing in front of a building. I like how the cover looks you know you got uh, Batman standing in front of a building you got a the Batman uh, symbol at, um, as a fire as fire you got this is the Dark Knight and you got another blue Batman symbol if you guys are a huge fan of the Dark Knight um, you guys are trying to find this movie. Um, I suggest going to your local Goodwill and finding this movie. Uh, most likely, if you do go to Goodwill, this movie will most likely be on the shelf. Because um, every time when I go to Goodwill, The Dark Knight's always there. I always see it on the shelf at Goodwill. and I feel like The Dark Knight's a pretty popular movie still. And it... It's been popular ever since it first came out. There is a, also a Blu-ray and there's also a a DVD box set with The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises and Batman Begins. After The Dark Knight uh, was made, they made The Dark Knight Rises, which Tom Hardy was uh, casted as Bane. And Tom Hardy's character Bane was more stronger in that movie. Um, I think Tom Hardy did ama an amazing job as Bane. The Dark Knight Rises was a enjoyable film as well. And on the top of the Dark Knight, it says widescreen. The front. Here you got the spine. Dark Knight and the spine. The back, it says prepare to be wowed. It is rated PG-13 and sent intense sequel sequences of violence and some menace. Menace. The running time is 153 minutes. 
here's the back of the uh, movie. Um, you got Heath Ledger as the Joker wearing a Joker mask and he's holding a pistol. Yeah, Heath Ledger again. You know, like I said before, Heath Ledger, he did an amazing job as his iconic role as the Joker. Um, they did him, they, he played the Joker pretty well. And he did, um, they did an amazing job with, with the whole Joker thing, with the whole makeup and wig. You got Christian Bale. You got Christian Bale and um, other actors from the movie. That is the disc. Yep, that is the 2008 movie, uh, The Dark Knight on DVD. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.